There you go. We ran out of honey a few days ago, but Mother insists on me not buying any because the stuff she brings back from New Zealand is a hundred times better than whatever we have here or something. Like, seriously, it's just honey. Anyway, I hope you don't mind. Yes, of course I know you like honey with your tea. It's one of the first things I noticed the first time my sister brought you around. Probably because it was the same way she took it. <laughs> Thank you, Rabbit. So, are we going to talk about the elephant in the room? Alright, I guess I'll start. Why did you decide to spend New Year's Eve with me, instead of going up north to see the rest of your family? From what I've heard, you don't really see them that often, since you and your whole family are incredibly busy throughout the year, and this is the only time you can. <laughs> well, mine always go down there during the winter months to escape the cold, so it's not like I'm missing out on anything. And besides, I can think of better ways to spend my time instead of having the scorching hot sun beat down on me for hours and hours on end, whilst we sit on the sand that gets everywhere, droning on and on about nothing. Yeah. I think they're all taking a trip together to go skiing or something like that. And I think Maria and her boyfriend are going to a hot spring resort as an anniversary gift to each other, though. <laughs> All those adventures, and yet, the only place I want to be is right here, next to you. <laughs> Come here, you. My. You're all mine now, Rabbit. No more fighting. No more running away. No more arbitrary pretenses that don't matter whatsoever in the grand scheme of things. You are all mine. And I'm all yours. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, the fireplace that you recently had installed. My parents, I mean. When I was younger, I want to say probably around eight or nine, my entire family flew out to a cabin we owned in the woods, and we spent the entirety of our winter vacation there. The place was an off-the-grid type situation, so we would literally only talk and hang out with each other. It was so simple, but we were all so happy. We would light the fireplace and sit in front of it when it got dark and played board games and drank hot chocolate. My father was a health nut, so he rarely allowed junk food in the house, but it was the one time in the year where they would let Sophie and I cook whatever the hell we wanted over the fireplace. Of course, as children, we'd only ever roast marshmallows over it. When Sophie and I got a bit older and my father's political career took off, they stopped doing that sort of thing. They cared about keeping up the illusion of being a family more than actually being a family. They wouldn't have cared if the man decided to take pictures and document our time together. At least we would have had proper time together. Yeah, you could say that they installed the fireplace to further perpetuate this false fantasy of a family that doesn't exist. It used to exist. A long time ago, but... Not anymore. Not after everything we've been through. Hmm. Thank you, Rabbit. You're sweet. Far sweeter for the likes of me, but 
I'm far too selfish to ever let you go. You want to light the fireplace? Do you know how to? <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. There. Come here. Sit by the fire with me. <laughs> yes, if you're good for me. We can roast some marshmallows later. <laughs> what? Well, forgive me for taking advantage of the fact that I can be affectionate now. We've missed out on so much time together because of my selfishness and refusal to accept what happened. I've wasted so much time being angry and upset over nothing. No more. You make me so happy. So exorbitantly happy. I know I'm a lot to handle. I know I demand more from you than anyone else, and that's not fair on you. But I also know that I want you all to myself for the rest of my life. No matter how unrealistic that sounds. We'll make it realistic. We'll make it into a reality. If it were up to me, I'd take us to that cabin in the woods and disconnect from the rest of the world. I'd only look at you for the rest of my life. And you'd only look at me. <laughs> I know, but you can't blame a girl for dreaming. Does it scare you? Does it unsettle you to know that I'm this consumed by you? That if the entire world burned to a crisp and the two of us were the only ones left, I'd prefer that over living the life we have now. The world we live in right now is so loud and filled to the brim with distractions that take away from my ability to revolve my entire world around you. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't care. It doesn't matter to me if the people around us think that my obsession with you is unhealthy or over the top. All I care about is you. All I want in the world is you. You've already seen the lengths I'll go to to keep you safe and happy in these last few weeks. I'll go above and beyond all that as soon as I'm capable of doing so. You deserve to be spoiled, Rabbit. You're mine. And what's mine deserves nothing but the best. You deserve nothing but the best. Hmm. Right. Before I forget, this is for you. Yes, of course I get them. Why wouldn't I? You weren't so hard to draw me. Of course I treasure them. Yes, I... I suppose I shouldn't have ripped them out from the sketchbook from the start, but still. I thought you'd like to have them back, and besides... I'm sure there'll be more where that came from in the future, right? <laughs> you flatter me, Rabbit. I'm honored you like sketching portraits of me. I don't deserve your talent. 
I said I didn't deserve it. I didn't, however, say I didn't want it. I don't deserve you in the slightest, Rabbit. I was awful to you. Beyond awful. But I don't care. I'm having you anyway. And I'll spend the rest of my life making it up to you. Mm. <laughs> it's snowing. Yeah, look. <laughs> I didn't think it would snow this year. Mm, wait, can I borrow your phone? Well, yeah, I know mine is on the coffee table, but if I have to get up and go get it, then I'd have to let go of you, and I don't want to do that right now. <laughs> and besides, you literally have yours in your hands. <laughs> you say over dramatic, I say head over heels. Hand it over. No, nothing. It's just that... Well, it's just that they estimated that there's gonna be over a foot of snow in the morning. Yeah, and never snows that much here. Last time it was this bad, it was... Say, over a decade ago? Uh, yeah, we'd... We'd better drive you back before you're stuck here. Unless... <laughs> Never mind, you're not leaving. Nope. You don't get to leave. You get to stay in my arms until the storm blows over. Mm, I don't care. You don't need to go home. No one's waiting for you back there anyway, and if you leave me here... All by myself, in this dark, depressing, decrepit house. I'll be sad. Mm, please stay. Please, rabbit. <laughs> Good. We can be stuck here together. I love you so, so much. More than I could possibly put into words. And more than you could possibly fathom. I did want to hide you from the rest of the world and only have you to myself. I guess until all the snow melts. We can make that fantasy into a reality. Mm-hmm.